welcome back to Rubino Games and today we have Guardian Siege Battle against BRK Gangster and the Dark Knights. Let's go check out their defenses. Here is the Red Pen base from BRK and we see Kumun, Gianna and Savannah defenses. Okay, wow, look at that. Artamiel, Nikong and the Jaeger Meister. <laughs> Jaeger and of course Zeratu alright we are attacking this defense from the Dark Knights and it's full of these Galleon, Clara and Lucas defenses now here's Samsonic with his Susano, Orion and Nina with that speed lead from that Susano Orion's definitely gonna go first except of course if the enemy is super fast Oh wow, an OP team from Simp Zanet. A triple werewolf team made out of the Second Awakened Vigor, Eshir, and Jultan. Now here's the special key with the same Susano Orion, but this time he brought in his Stella. Stella Artois. One of the really good beers out there, to be honest. Now, anyway, let's go hit Parduk's defense over here. And I'm thinking, let's go outspeed that Clara. And hopefully she doesn't cut in when we give the turn to our Lucian. With the speed lead from Galleon, we should be safe. Now here are our monster builds. And let's do it. Okay, alright. We got the first turn. Now we get full speed ahead. Look at this Clara. Yeah, I've seen ugh, yeah, a lot of G3 players build this Clara on despair. Now, um, the question here is can we kill? Double kill. Okay. As long as we kill that Lucas, we should be good because we still have bombardment that stuns. And at the same time, we still have Galleon with the defense break too. Okay, that was a close call. Um, if that Clara was able to stun our Lucian, that would have been an easy GG. That's why it, you know, this defense is just so OP. Most especially if you build that Clara on an OP despair set. Now let's go attack this defense again. But this time, let's try our own. Susano, where is Susano? Mina, and our own Orion. Where is Susano? Okay. Here are our monster builds. And let's do it. All right. Can we stun here? Stun, defense break, Clara, or like... Okay, all on to Lucas. And that's fine, because then let's just go kill this Lucas already. Okay. And then, yep, it's a two versus three, and... Good thing we have Mina. Now let's go stun this Clara. No stun. Okay, there goes the stun. Reduce attack bars of Clara. Stun? Okay, we killed. Alright. GG. Onwards to the next battle. Boom. <laughs> it's not the most OP Mina, or you know, we have a lot of monsters to ruin. That's why, you know, our runes are pretty much spread out. But, they work. And, yep, we'll continue grinding to improve their stats. So, keep on the standby as we continue to share with you our rune builds, our monster builds. And, onwards to the next tower. Alright, now we have VRK Towers. And it's a mix of these OP defenses. 
Now let's see who's on the attack. Okay, we got here Arya D with a Mi Ying, Fran, and Odin. OP Panda, bro. <laughs> Alright. Next up, we see here Soge King with a Ciara, Bastet, and Daphnis. With that Bastet there, he's gonna give the turn to that Daphnis, and then Daphnis is just going to snipe. Okay, boom. Now here's Simpsonic with that Olivia, Wusa, and Bulldoza. Definitely giving the turns back and forth to Wusa and Bulldozer just to make sure that he ignores defense with that full power punch. Alright, let's go hit this Bastet, Perna, and Odin with our Galleon, Tiana, and Zyros. With that speed lead from Galleon, we should be able to get the first turn. Okay. Wow, look at how fast that Bastet is though. Okay, time to loot. We need a defense break, please. Okay, resistant Odin. Oh, wow, good thing that Bastet dripped though. <laughs> but, though, although he did hit an attack break. Or sorry, an attack power debuff. Okay, RNG is going crazy. They're resisting everywhere. Um, Perna kind of resisted. Well, as long as they don't put defense break. Oh no. Kill. Okay. Good thing we were able to kill that Odin. Because if we didn't, um, we could have just easily sniped our Galleon away. And then we would have lost our defense break. And look how tanky this guy is. Uh, let's reduce the attack bar of this Bastet. Okay, and then Winds of Change, cleanse that attack power break. Oh man, again. <laughs> Puts it again. Alright, time to loot. How many turns? Yep, still, we should be still Gucci. No, don't go Violet Proc. Okay, let's go kill this Perna. So that it's a 3 versus 1, and whatever this Bastet does. Yes, so tanky, look at them. Okay, nice revenge from our Galleon. Okay. GG. Onwards to the next battle. It's just so OP, man. Nice defense from Sir Ayor. Okay. Now, we have here Savior Luz on the attack, and he's bringing in his Jean. Theomars and Praha. With the resistance lead from Zon, they should be able to resist the provokes from that Fermion. Then at the same time, you got that Praha to protect the future and remove any of the buffs and cry of threat from this defense. Okay, nice one. Okay, right, let's see here. We see Red 10. So many LNDs once again. <laughs> oh, it's only a Tian Long, Artamiel. Yep, let's see how they're doing. 8 for 21, 5 for 21, or 5 is to 21. Okay, let's see our team on the attack. He's here, Savior Luz again with that Laika, Thessarion, and Busa. Defense breaking, and of course, Laika OP man. Okay, here's Simpsonic. With his own Molong, Harmonia, and Eladriel. Eladriel is just going to provide all the heals that he needs to survive all that. Okay, let's go hit this one. This Tian Lang Chandra John. And let's bring in our own Molong. And I'm thinking Beta and Icares. We are going to be doing double HP damage. Now looking at the speed bars or the attack bars. Let's go stun. Okay, nice stun on that Tian Long. Yeah, I'm thinking 
We should kill this Chandra. So let's go Dark Recovery. Okay, and then Reckless Assault. Wow, so much health on that guy. Um, automatically, it's a 3 versus 2. But the thing is... Yep, that cry provocation is coming in. Okay. We need to survive this. But then, if they get... Yep, a lot of violent procs. They're not gonna let us go. Okay, can we... Stun again? Come on. RNG our way, please. Okay, okay resisted. I can't go for directness assault because... Oh man, stuns again. We need to lower down the health. Let's go heal up our beta. Oh wow, this Tian Lang though. Stuns. No stuns. He gets stuns. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay, we get a violent proc. No, we can't go reckless assault just yet. Stuns. No stun. Oh man, wow. It's like it's like they're dribbling a basketball or something. <laughs> boop boop. <laughs> oh man, come on, dude. How many turns? How many turns? Oh man. <laughs> he's not even on despair. Is he on despair? I don't think he's this. Wow. Okay, man. Let's hit it again. Let's play it safe. Let's bring in our Balbrick, Emilia, and Skogul. Now let's see you go violent crazy on me again. Because it wouldn't really matter because we have our Emilia with the immunity and cleanse. Yep, let's go kill this Chandra. Look at that. 30k HP. Okay, definitely a violent Tian Lang. Okay, automatically two turns every turn. Yep, two <laughs> turns every turn. Okay. Yep, if this was like a Rahul and then he strips, yeah, it's definitely gonna be OP. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, we're gonna get the Forbidden Galder off. Yep, because Bulwark's moving. So, yeah, let's go heal our Emilia here. Okay. Wow. Man. Definitely violent runes still rule, man. At the end of the day, just go violent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. While we're waiting for this fight to finish, I would like to thank all our subscribers for the support uh, we currently hit 7,000 a few days ago and again salute to you and much love from your Gabino Games family and another warm welcome to our new subscribers and a round of greetings to again our current subscribers what's up guys how you guys doing please do leave a comment we want to hear from you and we hope you're doing well okay look at this John though Still trying to survive out of it. Yep, okay. Done deal. Man, so much OP defenses. Nice too. That's how I like it. <laughs> hard. I like it hard. Okay. We still got this. Reddit. Full of these Martina defenses. Martina, Shaina, and Wadam. Now here's R.A.D. With that second awakened Elusha, Vigor, and Halfas. Nice team. Okay, let's go hit this guy. Let's play around with Surtur. 
Let's begin. Garo, Draco, and where is Sutu? Yep, let's go see if his um, summary conviction will work. Ignore all effects that resist death, right? Okay. But then they have all wheel runes. We didn't get an attack buff. Oh. <laughs> you know? No. It was so weak. I think we have to rebuild our suitor. <laughs> no attack power buff. Oh man, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Um, we're gonna bring in. <laughs> uh, let's bring in Bernard, Cordobia, and then our second Lucian. <laughs> yeah, scrap that. Scrap that. Uh, okay, where is Bernie? Okay, there's Bernard. Okay. Full attack bar and attack power buff from the second skill of Konamiya with the fight runes. Let's see how much damage we do and if we can cleave this team. Alright. Let's go, Bernie. Resurge onto Lucian. Okay. Can we kill? Let's see how much damage our amputation will do. Whoa! Fourteen <laughs> K. Really nice. Oh, hey, there you have it. Onwards to the next tower. Next target. We see here. It's actually an NB5 base from Dark Knights. And yeah, they're using NB4 defenses. Here's Eladriel, Grego, and Leo from Zanet. Okay, and then we see here Indra with her Water Twins and Darian. With that accuracy lead from Sabrina, Darian and Sabrina should be able to put that defense break they need in order to beat that team. Okay, now let's attack this Fran and these double beast riders, Barbara and Masha. And we're going to bring in our Fung with the Wusa and Taranis. With that defense lead from our Fung Yen, that Taranis is going to pack a punch. Let's see. All right. Good thing they moved first. Because again, Wusa provides that immunity and shields from that wish of immortality. Now, if we went first, this Barbara would have easily attacked us with that start of attacking, where she removes a beneficial effect and then ignores the enemy's defense by 35% for each one attack or each one removed. So if she was able to remove like two or three, it's automatically 100% ignored damage. Or ignore defense so good thing um, she moved first and we'll have to kill her because we don't want her doing her ignore defense damage okay let's see can we kill boom yes we can and automatically it's going to be a three versus two for this Masha she has a really high base speed of 123 and yep expect her to be really fast especially in rda but she's more of that wild steps passive where she gets more attack bars like 50 percent every time she's buffed and then less 50 percent every time she's debuffed plus her attack speed increases by 15 percent up to five times every time she's buffed plus of course every time this happens her damage increases based on her attack speed yep definitely op beast riders man we don't have one hopefully we'll get i don't know in your opinion what's the best beast rider for you will it be masha savannah or barbara yep let me know let's see I'm, we're very curious on what you guys think 
Okay. Onwards to the next battle. GZ on your Beast Riders SBTG. Okay, now here's Big Boss Al with that Verad, Annabelle, and Theo Mars. Martina isn't exactly going to steal any beneficial effects there, but with Verad, he'll be able to CC that team. Now, here's Fernick with that Galleon, Orion, and Julie. With that speed lead from Galleon, Orion's gonna go, and then Galleon's gonna be able to pull off time to loot, given that hopefully they strip something, or if they're not on will runes, it might be better. Okay, now here's Zanet with that Mina, Stella, and Orion. A very nice crit rate lead from this Mina. Okay, let's see how they do. All right, here's big boss Simp Abarai with his Fangian, Amelia, and Bulldoza. Nice panda. Okay, now here's Abarai again with his Ferad Molong this time together with his Harmonia. So many pandas, big boss man. OP. All right, we have here 11 R or 11 red from VRK Gangster. And here's Cliff, also known as Cloverleaf, with his Juno, Camilla, and Tessarian. Juno's gonna strip, Tessarian's gonna oblivion, and then Camilla's going to finish. All right, now here's Zanet with that Laika, Annabelle, and Triana. Odin is going to kill that Annabelle, but because of that Salvation passive, he won't be able to kill. Okay, nice teams. Now here's Simpsonic with that Thessarian, Theomars, and Chasun. With that resistance lead, he should be able to resist the debuffs from this Bastet. Okay, now here's Arya with that accuracy lead from Okeanos. He'll be able to do that defense break and dots from this Belenus, plus of course Tyrannis. Now, let's go bring in our own Thessarion with that resistance lead together with Theo Mars and our Chasun. Hopefully, we'll be able to resist the debuffs from this Bastet. Let's see. Playing the resistance game. Okay, there goes. Wow, violent Bastet. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we have to heal here because this Perna is going to pack a punch. But at the same time, we need an attack buff on our Theomars so that we can break through the shield. Yeah, that's why sometimes I go triple smash just to make... Why, why did Perna, Perna just attacked onto our Theomars? <laughs> Fire attacking. What? Um, yeah, let's go defense break so we can Oblivion. But that's a dead Theomars. Okay, additional turns again. Ouch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a, a violent uh, Odin as well. Okay, three turns for Bastet. <laughs> Seriously? How many? How many turns? Oh man. This is just crazy because that's a dead. Yep. Oh man. Everyone's on violent, it seems, huh? Yeah, Bastet's on violent. Okay, well, here's Avarai with his. Odin, Thessarion, and Skogul. A very interesting team from our OP guild leader. Okay, now here's Big Boss Man Al with that Delphoi, Daphnis, and Rina. Delphoi may be able to reset this Perna, right? Okay, let's try this again. I don't know. If you're a water guy. Let's bring in, let's say, a wind tank. Someone who can tank this um, Perna. 
but at the same time yeah I'm so tempted to um, you can actually mirror it to be honest but let's play around with Eladriel uh, we'll need some form of attack power buff just to make sure and also immunity in the form of Fran okay let's go try this out with that HP lead from our Eladriel we should be able to tank Perna right yeah I don't know let's see let's try it out all right here goes bust that again okay we have immunity so she can do curse of the beautiful and we should be fine right and while that's happening let's go work why didn't she do curse of the beautiful yeah let's go work on this Odin here okay that's a defense break on our friend and that's dangerous out uh-huh yeah let's go revive violent okay nice violent heal okay continue tanking okay that's fine it's fine we're Gucci oh man <laughs> not enough damage yeah let's go try working on Bastet though okay mm, strip okay there goes that Odin shifting target to our Eladriel so it's going to be dangerous okay nice one let's debuff heal up oh man damn okay I don't know if we can do this uh, we're just yeah wasn't 100% sure on the attack plan over here <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think we should have gone for like automatically this Perna because she seems to be like the uh, what do you call this the squishiest oh man but there goes the defense break on our Eladriel and yep that's a GG for sure a very OP defense I mean, imagine all these monsters on violent runes, fast violent runes, and every time they would proc violent, you know, wow, what can I say? Such an OP defense, because every time that Perna dies, you get stacks on that Odin, and then every time that Odin gets more knowledge, he's going to be able to ignore more damage. Oh man, underestimated this defense. But you know, just like other siege battles, that's the beauty of it. You know, you can only use your monsters once, and towards the end of the game or end of the battle, you'll be, you'll have to find different combos to beat these defenses. Wow, man, seven wins is to three losses. Jurgen job, guten job, I didn't say that right. Good job, man. Okay, now here's Big Boss Abarai with his Fang Yen, Camilla, and Chasun. That's the second Fang Yen. OP. Now, those are all our monster attacks for today. Let's go see the results of this Guardian 3 Siege Battle. And there we have it. GG well played to VRK Gangster and the Dark Knights. Okay, uh, we'll be transferring to a new guild. Quick, quick. We'll be joining our senpais. And yeah, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the Symphonic Guild. You know, it's been a couple of years, if I'm not mistaken, like, I don't know, three years already. Although the members of Quick, quick also come from the same Indonesian family of the Symphonic and 
its allies and friends. It's going to be fun. No goodbyes, but thank you, we love you, and we'll see you again soon. And that's it for today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. And like what we always do, may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one. Now here are some real-time World Arena battles from our Guardian 3 players. So much LND units. See how they counter them. See how they use them. Definitely OP. <laughs> okay, enjoy and salute.